Beyonce and Jay-Z are the closest thing there is to royalty in the U.S. While they didn't grow up with silver spoons, they've earned unparalleled success in their careers. And now that they're on top of the world, they are living their best lives. Here's a look at this music mogul couple's glamorous life. In order to gain some context on Beyonce and Jay-Z's super lavish lifestyle, it first helps to understand how much cash they have and how they keep it coming in. So just how much dough are we talking about? According to Forbes, the Carters are worth roughly $1.4 billion as of mid-2019. Beyonce herself is only worth a mere $400 million compared to her husband's $1 billion, but that doesn't tell the full story. The Queen's income comes mostly from her album sales and concert earnings, which tend to be larger than her husband's. Conversely, Jay-Z earns his income mostly as a result of his investments, such as his significant ownership over the streaming company title. Obviously, both celebs know their strengths and play to them well. But my child doesn't need the same tools that I needed growing up. So now you know what Beyonce means when she talks about her great-great-grandchildren already being rich, as she did on the track Boss from her joint album with Jay, Everything is Love. According to The Observer, the Tribeca neighborhood in Manhattan may just be the most desirable zip code in the entire city. It makes sense, then, that that's where Jay-Z would want to purchase a home. With no shortage of restaurants and plenty of neighborhood charm, it's an ideal place for the Carters to nest when they're in the Big Apple. Jay-Z bought his seventh-floor penthouse in 2004 for a cool $6.85 million, according to the outlet, and that was before he and Beyonce got married. So if this were his final bachelor pad, it had one heck of a view. The apartment is comprised of 5,000 square feet, not including the 3,000 square feet of terrace space. Talk about living the city dream. I would not be the woman I am if I did not go home to that man. The celebs officially tied the knot there in an intimate ceremony in 2008, according to People magazine, where the apartment was decorated with 70,000 dendrobium orchids that the couple flew in from Thailand. Because love. Owning a swanky New York City pad just doesn't cut it for the Carters. In fact, the couple has quite a diverse real estate portfolio, including a mansion in Bel Air that's truly the stuff of dreams. They purchased the estate in 2017, according to W Magazine, for approximately $90 million. Among the amenities, it boasts a helipad, four pools, a tennis court, wellness facilities and a spa, and an entire complex for entertainment. In addition, the 30,000 square foot, six-structure compound has a basketball court, a 15-car garage, and separate staff residences. And just to be sure, the glass in the external doors and windows is indeed bulletproof. Music's first couple couldn't possibly be content with only one home in New York. They picked up a second Empire State residence not long after acquiring their Bel Air abode. And this one is the epitome of deluxe. According to Behind the Hedges, the Carters plunked down $26 million on a waterfront residence in East Hampton. Because where else do New Yorkers spend their summer? Known as the Pond House, the 12,000-square-foot mansion sits on two acres of lush greenery adjacent to Georgia Pond. Inside, the estate boasts seven bedrooms, nine bathrooms, hand-carved heated marble tubs, white oak paneling, and parquet de Versailles floors that were hand-pegged, according to Zillow. Outside, there's an infinity pool and a grilling area for those warm summer nights. To top it all off, a 1,800-square-foot guesthouse boasts all the fixings, in case seven bedrooms just wasn't enough space. The Carters simply will not be confined to just New York City, Los Angeles, and the Hamptons. As both Curbed and Zillow reported, Beyonce and Jay-Z likely purchased a stunning residence in the Big Easy in 2015, specifically a $2.6 million home in the Garden District that used to be both a Presbyterian church and a ballet school. At over 13,000 square feet, the Nola Estate is a sprawling beauty, with soaring 26-foot ceilings, floor-to-ceiling bookshelves in the library, polished hardwood floors, and a master suite worthy of royalty, clawfoot bathtub included. There's even a large rooftop garden with city views. 
Just as the couple have a fabulous collection of homes, so too do they have an equally enviable collection of cars, according to their Fabulous Life special. For one, Beyoncé drives a black Mercedes Sprinter that reportedly cost $1 million and even has a full bathroom. It's also equipped with a $150,000 sound system and cream-colored Italian leather upholstery. And if she's not feeling like rocking the mom van, she can always jump behind the wheel of her $500,000 Mercedes SLR McLaren. But it's Jay who's best known for his car collection, which includes a $107,000 Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet, a Ferrari F430 worth up to $275,000, and a Pagani Zonda F reportedly worth $2.5 million, to name a few. And not to be outdone by her parents, daughter Blue Ivy also has some custom-made wheels to bum around in, like a mini Bugatti and a mini Ferrari. It's not just their kids who get lavish gifts for birthdays and holidays. Beyoncé and Jay-Z have been rumored to spoil each other on special occasions as well. Arguably the most luxurious, over-the-top, and billionaire-appropriate gift they ever exchanged was the private jet Bay gifted Jay for Father's Day. According to Architectural Digest, the Bombardier Challenger 850 Learjet comes with a price tag of $40 million. With accommodations for up to 15 passengers, this swanky jet Jet boasts a kitchen, two bathrooms, a bedroom, and a living room on board. It's only natural that Jay-Z would be a jewelry aficionado. After all, you don't drop a song like Big Pimpin' without a well-curated collection of in-your-face rocks in your arsenal, which of course he has, according to Fabulous Life. Among some of the most standout pieces are his $14,000 gold, onyx, and peridot-encrusted ring from Cartier, a $30,000 Rolex watch, and his 11-pound solid gold chain-link necklace, one of the heaviest of its kind in the world worth a whopping $250,000. But those pale in comparison to his Richard Meal Turbion watch that reportedly costs an estimated $500,000. But the rapper doesn't have the monopoly on the family bling. Beyonce showed up dripping in $10 million worth of diamonds at the 2014 Grammy Awards, according to Us Weekly. Plus, famed jewelry designer to the stars Lorraine Schwartz calls the singer her muse on Instagram, and Beyonce appears blinged out on the reg. The more recognition I got, the more I, I took a chance to make things that I thought were cooler. I don't think there were jewelers doing that kind of funky high-end jewelry. It doesn't get any more glam than that. Of course, no expense will be spared when it comes to clothing and accessories for the Carters. You don't earn the moniker of music's first family without seriously impressive style game as well as the confidence to go all out. First, there's the endless swag that was Beachella, then there's the shimmering costumes of the On The Run Tour, too. And if you really want to go down the rabbit hole of Beyoncé's fresh off-the-runway looks, you're in luck. Fashion-obsessed Instagram accounts like Beyoncé Fashion post details on everything she wears, often revealing the price tag on those designer outfits and accessories when they're available. Breaking news? They're not cheap. But don't leave Jay-Z out of the fun. GQ proclaimed that his recent style has been better than ever, with the rapper regularly suiting up in offerings from Givenchy, Tom Ford, and Dries von Noten. Nothing but the finest in menswear for this stylish mogul. For us, we chose to fight for our love, for our family, to give our kids a different outcome. Blue Ivy was literally born into luxury, thanks to her parents at Lenox Hill Hospital, according to the New York Daily News. Located on the Upper East Side, the hospital's birthing suite is the creme de la creme of delivery rooms. Boasting four flat-screen TVs, gourmet room service, a kitchenette, and mahogany walls, the entire suite costs approximately $800 per room per night when the singer stayed there. Jay-Z even had his own space, so he wasn't stuck sleeping on a cot like most dads to be. And just like Blue Ivy's birth, her upbringing has been exceedingly lavish, according to Fabulous Life. And it started with the $1.5 million in baby swag that welcomed the eldest Carter kid home. 
Among the gifts waiting for the newborn from mom and dad were a $50,000 baby carriage adorned with diamonds, a $15,000 studded high chair from Swarovski, and a $600,000 solid gold rocking horse. She also got gifts from family friends, such as $800 custom-made sneakers from Ruthie Davis, a chest full of children's books from Oprah Winfrey, and a $5,200 crystal-encrusted bathtub from Kelly Rowland. And Princess Blue is still getting the royal treatment. She's stunned in an $11,000 dress at the 2016 MTV VMAs, according to E! News. And you can bet that Blue's siblings, Sir and Rumi, will enjoy only the finest living as they grow up, too. As we all know, the Carters are anything but normal, and the parties they throw their kids totally prove it. For example, the total bill for Blue Ivy's princess-themed first birthday was $200,000, according to the Carters' Fabulous Life special. That included costumes, oodles of pink and white flowers, toys, and, of course, gifts for the princess. Then, on her second birthday, mom and dad rented out an entire Miami amusement park so she could enjoy it without interruption, according to Hello! Magazine. Blue Ivy was also treated to her very own ice sculpture on her third birthday, according to her mama's Instagram. If you're lucky enough to party with the Carters, you're in for the experience of a lifetime. That's because they've become famous for these soirees they throw for themselves, their kids, and their friends. People are intrigued by you, and it's something that you don't have to try to be, it's just something that you are. Take the 2013 celebration the couple hosted at Club Rain in Atlanta, commemorating Beyoncé's surprise album and Jay-Z's impressive nine Grammy nominations. According to their Fabulous Life special, tons of celebs were present at the event, which, at the end of the night, cost nearly $100,000. But that's nothing compared to the all-out bash of a listening party that Jay-Z hosted at Club Live in Miami for his album Watch the Throne. By the time the party ended, Jay-Z's bar tab alone ran him an estimated $250,000. Bottoms up. Years later, the Carters are still at it, throwing parties for their good friends in Hollywood. In 2018, they took over the Chateau Marmont to celebrate Mary J. Blige's Oscar noms for Mudbound, according to Us Weekly. It's obvious that the Carters are one seriously busy family, but they also know how to live it up in their downtime. It doesn't stop. It actually stops today. I go on vacation tomorrow. <laughs> Take their 2011 getaway to Paris, where they stayed at Hotel Le Maurice, according to Fabulous Life. And, of course, they booked the penthouse for $20,000 per night. Then, on Beyoncé's 32nd birthday, they chartered a yacht from Spain to Italy, which cost them $350,000, not counting the champagne. Clearly, these two know how to get the most bang for their buck. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.